Hello, hello, hello. Right. I'm putting this video on to tell you about the amazing miracles that have happened to me today. It is, what time is it? Let's have a look. It's 11 o'clock on Friday night. You can probably hear noise behind me because I'm in central London. Um, what a day. What a day. You know, I just want to give a huge shout out to Archangel Metatron. Now, if you aren't working with this spectacular Archangel, then you need to because he's created that many miracles in my life today. I could cry tears of gratitude, you know. He's been with me from the moment I left the house this morning right till now. Absolutely miraculous angel. Who is he? He's the angel of time. He sets things up. He aligns things so that everything works perfectly no matter what you're doing. And what's he aligned for me today? Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Well, first of all, obviously, I put those videos on when I was in the station this morning. And, you know, a video did not do it justice. I mean, I was trying to video the feathers as they fell down, but I just couldn't catch them, you know. And literally, I was standing there and there was feathers just falling everywhere. And, you know, these were bright white feathers bright white feathers i put a couple on twitter and snapchat and bright white feathers you know just falling right in front of me and they were falling all over everybody and you know yes you've got to realize that you could say well it's pigeons it's pigeons there's pigeons everywhere in stations but no these were angels because i spoke to the angels before i left and asked for protection and huge signs this weekend that the angels are with me and that's the first thing I saw and they were just falling everywhere and that's why I had to record those videos and when I was recording those videos people were just looking at me like I was absolutely out of my mind but did I care? No and it was really strange because a couple of people were listening to what I was saying and they actually started watching the feathers themselves so that was just awesome so feathers and one actually fell into my hands as well but there was big white feathers just landing all around me and everybody in that station was protected today. And then I went to the loo and I came back and then there was a group of people, um, I think they were station workers, but they were down the far end and they were all singing like motivational happy songs, which I thought was absolutely amazing. Then I got onto the train and I was sitting right by... Um, a sign that said take take a step or take a risk or something like that never give up and then I looked down and there was a like a magazine cutting on the floor and it said million pounds it, it was about money and I was like all these amazing signs are just flowing to me of what I'm manifesting and what's coming into my life and I was reading um, The Alchemist which I bought specifically for this trip and I can't believe that I haven't actually read it before and I, I'm halfway through and I've got look Archangel Jophiel's card here um, honour your beauty Archangel Jophiel thank you Jophiel for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty so that's my little bookmark in there it's one of Kyle Gray's cards um, but you know I'm going to save the rest for the journey home but this book wow if you haven't read this book you need to be reading this all about faith and following your heart's desires and the challenges that come up and absolutely fantastic books. So I was reading this, then got to Euston and, you know, just found the hotel like that because I was asking the angels. I mean, I always stay usually at the same hotel because I love it. I know I'm safe here. I know where I am and all them things. And I asked Archangel Shamuel, the finding angel, and Archangel Angel Metatron to help me find where I was going. And I walked straight out of this station and there was a man there and he said, can I help you? And I asked him for directions and he sent me on my way. And I'm not too good with directions, so it's about a 10 minute walk, the hotel from the station. And I started walking and you, you know, you start second guessing yourself. I was thinking, am I going the right way? And then next minute, there's a woman next to me at the traffic lights with a map. So I just said, hi, you know, is this the way? 
yes here it is on the map you know no problem we had a little chat because i talked to everybody and anybody um and then i went on my way and boom there's the hotel then the next miracle happens now you could see this as a negative but it turned into a positive so obviously i got to the hotel room wasn't ready so i dropped bag off went and have, had some lunch in my favorite cafe which was really nice and, and calming and all them things and then i came back and i checked in and they gave me the room number and everything sent me up to my room and the door was ajar and i opened the door and the room was a real tip it hadn't been cleaned there was mess everywhere so i thought oh you know and this um there was a woman a cleaner woman in the corridor and she was like oh you know just give us 10 minutes and we'll get it ready and i thought no 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 and i got into the lift and i went back to reception and in my mind i was saying thank you angels for upgrading my room thank you for upgrading my room and you know i've actually booked myself this time into a single room which is rare for me i usually pick a double room because obviously i'm manifesting my dream trip in october you know for halloween i'm actually doing my dream i'm staying at claridge's hotel so that's my dream weekend or or week or whatever you know that's what i'm doing so you know bit of a budget time this time so i booked myself in a single room and i got to reception and i told them what had happened and they said oh don't worry you know we'll, we'll get you in a room now and i said is it definitely cleaned and she said yes and i come up to the room and i'm in a twin room and it's huge so the angels upgraded my room so that negative of my room not being ready turned into a huge positive now by the time all this happened um it was knocking on a little bit you know and i'd say it was about what time would this have been half past three and you know I, I i went to see the lion king tonight which was fabulous and i'll tell you about that in a minute but i had to be there for half seven now i needed to go into london to buy some things i wanted um, a cardigan and i wanted a new coat and you know all these things so i started calling on archangel metatron i'm like i haven't got much time what can i do can you help me you know and i come i come out of the hotel got straight on the bus the bus was straight there and then again i started second guessing myself which is the ego you know because i was on the right bus but i was like, i'm not on the right bus so I was panicking I wasn't on the right bus, so I saw a Costa, and I'm obsessed with Costa hot chocolate, so I got off the bus, and I went and had a hot chocolate, which took up half an hour, you know, and then I got back on the bus, and I saw, I was on the bus, and I saw the shops that I wanted to go in, they were just right there in front of me, so I went into the shops and did my thing, and there was huge queues, it was on Oxford Street, you know, it was mental, for anyone who's been to London, Oxford Street, you know, it's just crazy busy, and I was calling on Archangel Metatron the entire time, and he queue busted everything, you know, everything was going quickly, and then a buzz was just there again, because there's a tube strike on, um, on the line that I use, there's a tube strike on, I think it's going on till tomorrow night, um, so couldn't get a tube so buzz again straight there got back to the hotel managed to have some dinner and it was like you know how have i done these amazing things it's because archangel metatron has managed the time for me today then i got ready and i left the hotel i got to be at the theater for it started at half seven and i got to the bus stop at like 20 to 7 and you know there was like a 10 minute wait for the bus so i called on archangel metatron again to get me there and i was panicking a little bit thinking oh what if i miss it what you know what if i can't get there didn't know where i was going got on the bus got off the bus started walking somebody was there again and i just said can you tell me where the theater is right down there got to this is like 20 to 7 i got to the bus stop and you have to realise that it took 10 minutes for the bus to come. And when I walked into the theatre, which was near Trafalgar Square, it was five past seven. You know, wow, 
Wow, wow, wow. Then I got there and I wanted a bottle of water. The bar was packed. So I just asked the angels again and I got served pretty much straight away. Went to the loo, got to the seat. Wow, fabulous production of The Lion King. If you haven't seen it and you're in London, I fully recommend that you see it. Um, wow, you know. It, it had me laughing, it had me crying. I actually cried about four or five times. The circle of life when that come on and it was all about having faith and, you know, about people watching over you. Very, very emotional show. Pretty much everybody had, had got tears and, you know, just really, really good. And I got talking to the lady sitting next to me because obviously I'm travelling alone and she was alone and she was from Singapore and we had a really good talk, you know. So the angels set you up with these people that, you know, you can just become friends with strangers. It's fabulous, you know. Anyway, I come out of the theatre and this is probably the most exciting thing that happens. I, I, I've got no sense of direction, okay. I, you know, when I go anywhere, I plan everything to a T, but, you know, no tubes running. So I couldn't just jump on a tube. So... I come out of the theatre and I started walking the wrong way and I was just calling on Archangel Metatron and all the angels to get me home safely. And I walked down this long street um, and there was hardly any cars there and every taxi pretty much that was going past was, you know, it, it was busy, there was no lights on. So I just started saying, thank you, thank you Archangel Metatron, thank you for getting me home safe, thank you for sending me a taxi thank you for sending me a taxi, thank you for sending me a taxi, and I was just walking down this street saying thank you for sending me a taxi, and this taxi just pulled up right next to me, and it was dropping people off, and I mean literally right where I was, it just zoomed in, and I stopped, and I said are you free, and he said yeah, just let them get out, and I thought wow, this is how powerful we are as creators. And I'm not putting this video on to say, oh, me, me, me. You know, I don't want you to think that, that, wow, I'm so protected by angels. I'm saying all this stuff because I want you to know that you are just as powerful as me as creating all these wonderful things in your life. And you can talk to these angels as well, just like I do, you know. And... I thought, wow, I was sitting in that taxi or cab or whatever you want to call it, you know, going back to the hotel and I was just sitting there thinking, how amazing is that? You can just create things like that, you know? And I got back to the hotel and I was cold and I went to the bar and I got a big jug of hot water and I've had two lovely cups of tea, which has warmed me up a lot. So I just wanted to put this video on, so, you know absolutely fantastic day because everything's just fell into place because I've called on heaven and you know I could have gone quite a few ways you know if you think about it if you're in negative thinking oh you know room isn't ready gotta gotta wait to check in you know but I thought no positive go have some dinner then checked in went all the way up to the room room wasn't ready had to go all the way back to reception but what happens? Upgraded room. Run around London, but Archangel Metatron sorted it all out. All out. Panicking about getting to the theatre on time. Archangel Metatron got it under control. This is the power of the angels. And this is what I want to say to you. And, you know, I am going to be putting some vlogs on. So, you know, the angels have been guiding me to do that. The eye can do it for two days. So it's two days. Um... Just seeing if I've got any info written down to hand, but I haven't. Um, there's five speakers on Saturday and five speakers on Sunday. On Sunday, Kyle Gray is there. Um, but, you know, I've seen Kyle Gray, you know, hundreds of times. I I've probably seen him about, I don't know, eight or nine times now. So, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing Kyle, but he's not the be-all and end-all for me because I've already seen him so much, you know. But all the other speakers... I haven't seen so I'm really excited to see them so I'm going to be putting videos on about it as the day goes on I'm going to be doing little vlogs obviously I can't record any 
or you know I may be able to I'll see I'll see what I can do for you but it, the, the probably the most um, interested I am in, in one of the speakers is Fern Cotton's there and you know I'm not sure what she's going to be speaking about but that'll be really interesting because I didn't realize that Fern Cotton was you know so spiritual so that'll be really interesting so yeah I'm there I'm, I'm going to get there for nine o'clock in the morning it starts at 10 it's all day um, you know it'll be a very exciting day so I'm going to take you all with me to that so yay you know so welcome to London you know if you want to know where I am I'm at the Royal National Hotel in Russell Square um, I always stay here why I can really recommend this hotel because it's yes it's a budget hotel but it's really clean it's good value it's in a like a central location it's like 10 minute walk from Euston the breakfast is fantastic the bathroom is amazing you know the beds are comfortable I haven't got a bad word to say about this hotel you know and I stay here a lot of it a lot of the time but obviously people who know me know and now you know it's my dream to stay at Claridge's and I decided a couple of months ago to manifest that and I'm staying at Claridge's Halloween and for two nights Halloween and the 1st of November how I manifested it and I'm going to talk about that in another video when I'm home about how I manifested that you know because people are like why are you staying at Claridge's wow you know and if you don't know what Claridge's is then google it that's all I'm going to say, you know, Google it. But yeah, if you're staying in London and you want to stay at a really good hotel with a great location, right in the heart of things, Royal National Hotel in Russell Square, absolutely fabulous. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I've rambled on a little bit. Thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you for all the amazing feedback. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you soon.